After we have diagnosed psoriasis, now we come to its treatment. The treatment of psoriasis, it is basically divided on the basis of the severity of the disease. If the body surface area in ward is less than 10%, we generally manage with the topical therapy. There are various topical therapies available. The most commonly used is the topical corticosteroid. As systemic corticosteroids are contraindicated, but topical corticosteroids are frequently used in the uh, treatment of this disease. Other reagents which can be used, it can be topical coal tar, salicylic acid, diethrenol, topical vitamin D3 analogs like calcipotriol, tacrolimus and topical retinoids like tazarotene. If the disease is little severe and it is not being managed only by topical therapy, then phototherapy is given. Phototherapy, it is either UVB or UVA. Both are used. UVB, it is narrowband UVB, the wavelength of which is 311 nanometers. It is most commonly used. In UVA, it can be either uh, PUVA or PUVA sol. In PUVA, generally the patient stands in a chamber and the artificial UVA light is given. But in PUVA sol, the solar energy, it is used as the source of UVA. It can be either topical or oral. The topical PUVA or PUVA sol, it refers to the patient applies melanocell lotion which comes in a concentration of 0.025% and half an hour later exposes to the sun or stands in the UV chamber. But in oral PUVA or PUVA sol, the patient takes melanocell tablet which is 8 methoxy soralin and after 2 hours the patient exposes to the sun. Then there are two regimens which you have to remember regarding the UV light. One is the Ingram regimen which uh, is a combination of UV light and anthralin. You can remember both contains in and in. Ingram regimen and anthralin. And the second is the Gokerman regimen which is a combination of UV light and coal tar. Then apart from these phototherapy, excimer laser can also be used in the treatment and wavelength of the excimer laser is also asked which is 308 nanometers. Uh, if the disease is more severe and the body surface area is more than 10% then systemic therapy has to be initiated in the patient. Systemic therapy it can be in the form of methotrexate which is generally given in the dose of 0.4 to 0.6 milligram per kg. It is given weekly and it has always to be supplemented with folic acid 5 milligram weekly which can be taken on the day of methotrexate, before the day of methotrexate or after the day of methotrexate. It doesn't matter but it has to be given with it. The next drug which we can use is cyclosporin which is given in the dose of 3 to 5 mg per kg but the side effect of cyclosporin it is hypertension, renal toxicity so you have to monitor the renal function test of the patient. The next drug which can be used is the retinoid. In topical we were using tazarotene but in systemic we use acetretin which is generally given in the dose of 20 to 50 mg daily. Apart from this we can also use apremilast which is the recent drug launched it is a phosphodiesterase 4 inhibitor. Other immunosuppressants like mycophenolate, mofetil or azathioprine, they all can also be used. Then there are certain biologicals which are coming up for the uh, management of psoriasis. They are generally used in cases of severe and refractory psoriasis. The biologicals, they can be divided in the form whether they act on T-cells or they act against TNF-alpha. The biologicals which act against T-cells, are the ifalizumab and alifacept. And those which are TNF-alpha inhibitors and they are the most commonly used, they are etanercept, adalimumab and infliximab. This was all about psoriasis. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe.